What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kilo, and today we're gonna talk about something real nice. Now, today we're gonna talk about the time that I almost got caught cheating. This story time is like kind of hard to tell, cause I might, you feel me, get snapped on for telling the story. But this Kilo, man, you know who the, you know how the fuck I do, man. I don't really give a fuck about anything, you feel me? So we just gonna put it straight like this. It was back in seventh grade, seventh grade middle school type shit. It was a time that when I was in middle school, you feel me? I grew up from that shit, boy. You feel me? Back then, I used to be a player. I used to be getting bitches back and forth. I used to be just playing bitches. I was that nigga in school that like, if I I fucks with you and like you bad as hell but then like i'm done fuck with you and your friend is bad as shit i'm gonna fuck with your friend as well so it was the time when i used to fuck with this girl girl a and girl b we're just gonna put it like that girl a and girl b girl a i used to fuck with her heavy she used to think we was in a relationship type shit but you know me i'm the type of nigga that I don't give a fuck you feel me i told her yeah 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 whatever just to get some you feel me just to get some play and it was the time that me and her used to fuck with each other heavy nobody in school knew that we used to fuck with each other heavy but until now you feel me so Girl A, I used to fuck with her heavy as fuck. We used to be in school chilling all the time and shit. But I was in the school. That was like after school. I used to be talking all that freaky shit and shit, whatever. I'm like, when you finna come through, all that shit come through. Boy, if you don't fucking, you feel me? Get some. So it was a time that me and her used to chill outside of school. We used to do a lot of things outside of school. And it was a time she came over. And you feel me? I did some freaky ass shit. I was the type of nigga that I didn't give a fuck. I was reckless as fuck. I live in the buildings. I live in the projects. As you can tell, I live in the fucking buildings. She came to my building and my old girl was on. So I was like, I'm not finna bring this bitch to my my house to my room for my mom could see like you feel me i get in my little dicks like you feel me sucked on like choked on by this bitch i was like nah fuck all that i want to do that shit outside and you know me i had the mentality of recklessness i didn't give a fuck what i did i didn't give a fuck where did i do it i ain't give a shit we went to the stairs and shit i might feel like an asshole for exposing this but i don't give a fuck and she was sucking me up in the stairs Damn! everybody in the motherfucking building was just like this i i, I use glasses back then i used to use glass i used to, i still use glasses but back then i used glasses heavy i ain't had car I ain't none of that shit. I didn't wear my glasses that day. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't give a fuck. I'm just gonna get my dick up blind. She gonna blind me. She gonna like, she gonna blind the shit out of me. I'ma just bust this nut, blind as fuck, and I ain't gonna give a fuck. Even though you ain't you ain't got glasses, you can see a little bit. I'm like, I am seeing people blurry. I'm seeing them from a distance and shit. And that was, hey, remember this? Girl A was a was the girl I'm fucking with her for a long time. So she sucked me up, bro. She sucked me up in the motherfucking like stairs. And in the stairs, everybody can see what you're doing because it's not like a building where like it's trapped. Like, no, it, this is like open door building like everybody can see what you're doing so the stairs i see everybody staring and shit and i was like oh shit hey, but it felt so good i was just like damn i ain't know this bitch could do that shit to me i was like fuck so i was like you know what fuck it let's go to the laundry room took her ass to the laundry sucked me up in the laundry room and i was like you feel me she had to go home so i told her all right you feel me go home go to your crib shit like that months started passing by i ain't give a fuck about anything i kept hearing rumors that this girl kept telling everybody oh no i fuck with him heavy he's my boyfriend this and that and i was like nigga what the fuck bitch you fucking up the game i'm like i ain't your fucking boyfriend Get it straight. I'm not nobody's boyfriend. I don't claim nobody. I ain't put you on nothing. Back then it was it was a Snapchat. Seventh grade year, it was no such thing as Snapchat. It was Facebook, mostly Facebook. I don't use Facebook no more, so don't even try to fucking find me. All right, I don't use Facebook. But back then it was straight Facebook. She was just publishing all type of shit, talking about something. I love him. This and I was like, bitch, if you don't delete that bullshit, take that bullshit off. Posting all type of quote shit. So then girl B came. That was like her friend. You feel me? Her friend to go to. So back then I was like, damn, your friend looking bad too. You feel me? I'm gonna go fuck with her too. So I'm like, what's up? I'm trying to put down. What's good? Shit like that. She talking about. So, no, but you feel me? You went out with this girl. I was like, I ain't go out with this girl. Stop saying I went out with this girl. I don't do you on fucking relationship. I don't do that shit. I'm like, we ain't going out. We ain't ever had a thing. What's up? She fell in love because she wanted to. You feel me? I'm just, you know how I am, man. What's up? What you trying to do? She talking about something. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. She like, let's ask her shit. So we ended up asking girl A, can she go out with me? Like, what type of fuckery shit is this? But I ain't give a fuck. She talking about something. She started crying and shit. Girl A started crying. Talking about something. He played me, shit like that. But it's whatever. If your heart tells you to go and be with him, go be with him then. And she she ain't give a fuck. She's like, all right, I'ma just go be with him, whatever. Or some little thought shit. So I was like, man, fuck out of here, girl. Shut up, man. I don't give a fuck. My mind was on some reckless shit, all right? That was back then. Don't start hating on me now. I ain't give a fuck back then. Fucking bitches was a thing back then. I don't love them. I don't chase them. My duck. That's was my motto. I ain't give a fuck about them. So I was like, you feel me? I'ma go out with girl B. But this time, I really went out with girl B. I wasn't on no fake shit, no flaky shit. So remember, girl A, I used to do some freaky ass shit with her on straight shit. And I used to go on the bus too. Okay, so then this happened, you feel me? I'm going out with girl B. She was like the type of girl I expected. She was the type of girl that all nice and shit. She was the type of girl that you had to respect type shit. But yeah, I heard some rumors about her that she was like on some thotty shit. And I was like, I want to get sucked up too by girl B. So what's cracking? What's up? Came the time that girl A kept fucking with me because she knew I was going out with girl B. Even though that was her best friend, so-called best friends. It didn't matter. Girl A still wanted
wanna fuck with your boy So it's not technically me cheating on her It's technically your girl Girl A and girl B are not true best friends Cause if she gonna do that to you Why, why you feel me when I'm in the picture Then that's not really best friends So I don't wanna hear that shit If you hear a girl saying oh no we're best friends Nigga fuck those both of them Those two bitches will do a threesome with you I don't give a fuck how it is nigga I don't care nigga I don't believe in that girl best friend bullshit I don't believe in that shit Don't believe it in two alright You hearing it from me nigga It came that day early as fuck in the morning They pick up girl A first on the bus And then they pick me up it came to the I always sit in the back, sat in the back that day to bust. Girl A sat like right next to me. After I get picked up, they take like two or three hours to pick up girl B. That's the one I'm going out with. Girl A sat down next to me. Early as fuck in the morning. Remember, early as fuck in the morning. It was five o'clock in the morning. The bus used to run at that time, like late, like early as fuck in the morning. But she sat right next to me. Remember what I told you? Girl A and me have a history of doing freaky shit. She sat down right next to me. She started touching me. So I was like... All right, what's good, nigga? You feel me? I ain't give a fuck. I was like, what's good, nigga? Let's fuck. Fuck that shit. Started fingering her. She started beating my shit. Started beating my shit. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm finna, I'm finna, you feel me? I'm finna do this shit right here on the bus. Then, the motherfucking bus ate caught up to my shit. She caught up that I fuck bitches and I ain't give a fuck. Like, I was on some shit that I go from girl to girl. I ain't give a damn. So I'm in the back. I'm fingering her. She beating my shit. I see the bus ate coming to me. She coming towards me on a quick shit. Slapped the chair. She went... And I'm like, boy, I got the juice. I got the juice. Boy, I got the juice. Boy, I got the juice. I got the juice. Boy, I got the juice. I said, I got the juice.